Hi guys. So this is a bit of an odd one for me, but um, welcome to my channel. Here we are. So as always, I have to start my day off with tea. I need a cup of tea before I even think straight. Um, a lot of the time I drink decaf, but I always drink one cup of normal in the morning just to get that little caffeine kick. Um, wow, I didn't realize how fidgety I was on a daily basis. So normally in the morning, I'll sit down maybe around half eight, nine o'clock. And by then I will be checking my emails. I'll be having a look at the day ahead to see what's going on. Um, in terms of classes, if I have lectures to give, if I have assignments due, that kind of thing. So really just update my to-do list and really get my arse in gear. So because I'm working at home, um, it's quite hard to discipline myself, I find. Uh, so it's my first year PhD and I'm doing it in NUIG. And so at the moment I need to get through um, a set of modules as part of my program. So they're generally work around health economics, um, methodologies, all that kind of thing. So as interesting as it is, it's quite heavy on the head. Um, so that's why I tend to move location quite a bit. So as you'll see later on, but yeah. So this is basically me. I know it looks very boring, um, but that's the joys of working on a laptop all the time. Um, but it's not too bad because I have my desktop screen just under my laptop. So at least then I have a bigger, bigger area to work from. So normally during the day I'll break it up by going for a walk maybe for about an hour. Um, depending on how I feel and how the weather is. Because as those of you know in Ireland the weather is so unpredictable. So I put on some chicken for myself. Um, some nice chicken fillets from Super Value and they keep me going with some of my lasagna that I made the other day. So once I get that, I kind of play around, watch a few YouTube videos, just kind of chill for a bit while I'm eating my lunch, and then I get back into it again. So it can be quite difficult to be reading papers all day and going through paperwork, and I suppose it's the life of a, of a researcher, um, at the moment anyway. Um, with this whole pandemic. I know I didn't want to mention it, but it's kind of hard not to. Normally life isn't this boring. You get to go out for coffee and meet people, which is a foreign concept at the moment. Um, so yeah, my PhD is based around health literacy and developing an education program for health professionals working within diabetic foot disease. So this particular project is suited to me because I'm a trained podiatrist, um, which some people may not know what that is. So podiatry is a branch of medicine which focuses on the lower limb, um, predominantly vascular disorders, neurological disorders and biomechanics. And often it's a good mix between them all. And a lot of patients we see um, I've had a lot of problems with uh, diabetes and complications. Uh, so that's why I'm doing my research. I like to make a change and really contribute to the world of podiatry. So. So by now I've had a bit of brain fry, so I think I'll decide to go out and feed the cats, feed the animals because they will not sleep if they're not fed. So as you can see from the video, we have quite a lot of cats. Um, the majority of them are rescued and they just they just turn up at our door because they know we'll, we'll help them. All the cats we have are tomcats, which is unheard of. 
Um, but enough of that because I can rant forever about cats. So at this point I've moved down to the sitting room and it's good for the back sometimes just to just to move location. So by now I'm on meetings and webinar type things. Um, so they're very integrative and interactive. Even though I look quite bored. <laughs> but yeah, they're very enjoyable. And it's it's really nice to be able to have some kind of class environment even though we're all remote at the moment. So by this time I'm generally quite wrecked. <laughs> So on this particular day, I had a particular session in the evening, so with tomorrow's podiatry. So you can see here, um, I got to present with Dr. Jill Halstead. Um, she's an incredible woman um, and I followed her right from the start. So it's, it's really interesting to be able to present research with someone that's been an idol for so long. And so we live stream, um, as tomorrow's podiatry every every week, every Tuesday, every Tuesday evening. But the research stream, which involves myself and Jill, um, that's every six weeks or so. So as you can see here, um, it's really nice to be able to provide that area to allow people to question you and really help students develop their research skills and show that it's not all about sitting at the computer even though that's what I've shown today. <laughs> um, not intentional, but just the way things are at the moment. Um, often you'll be out in clinic and there'll be a lot of um, integrating between clinical, academic, and your plain old literature searching, systematic reviewing, all that kind of thing. Um, so if anyone wants me to go in further on any topic about Anthony, um, research wise for example because I know sometimes it can be quite difficult to grasp um, feel free to let me know in the comments because I can try help I mean I might not be any use but I, I'll try my best um, I have a long way to go yet but this is an incredible opportunity so my association with tomorrow's podiatry is back in 2019 I was podiatry student of the year um, I was nominated um, by my department here in Galway um, for my contributions to the profession, um, I suppose. So that's where that all sprouted from and now I'm presenting my section with Jill and it's crazy to see how far you can come in a year. So if anyone has any suggestions on what I should do next or Anthony would like to see um, whether that be PhD related or life related, Irish life related, I don't know, maybe even about my cats. Um, just let me know in the comments below. So if you like, subscribe and let me know what you think. So bye!